Okay, so hi everyone and trust you all are doing very well and taking good care of your health. So now today uh, I'm going to start with a very important uh, topic which is uh, market research for product development. Now uh, uh, most of you heard about product development and most of you also heard about market research. Now how this can you know collaborate and can help each other or each uh, other the industry or if you are a market researcher or if you were even a product development person then how market research uh, as a tool uh, you can use you can apply okay now here uh, it is very important to understand first uh, product development part so now uh, you know uh, the plc part product life cycle so there there's a initial stage or you know study with that product and all and then uh, middle you know youth stage and then middle stage and then your old stage okay so in every stages market research can help so that is the part of your product product management okay now for the case of today i'm gonna deep dive with uh, a particular part which is, which is you know uh, pre-birth or birth of a product or innovation of a product okay so now how market research can uh, help you to innovate a product okay and this is going to be very helpful to all other you know uh, founders or startup founders or you know entrepreneur who wanted to come up with a new product or uh, you are working in a business consulting firm or you know startup growth or accelerator uh, you know you know institutions so, so then this is going to help food is going to be very helpful for you or if you are a design thinker or design thinking that you do then it is also very important for you to understand this and of course all the market research professionals and data analyst professionals this is going to be very helpful for you okay so now let's deep dive with you know application of market research or product innovations now to innovate a product or to understand or come up with a business uh, idea what you have to do is it's very simple it's not very you know rocket science It's very simple that first thing uh, is, is is understanding what is you know uh, the the problem that going on in our society first okay because always remember that uh, if you think about product a product if you think about product as a product then you will not able to you know come up or you know you know innovate a product if you think product as a solution then there will be high possibility that you come up with a new product or you ended up with a with a with a new product so now here is solution so if you wanted to come up with a solution the first thing you have to understand is your you know problem so now here who we are and whom uh, you know uh, you know we are trying to give the solution so as you are a supplier or entrepreneur or founder now you know our business consulting whoever you just you know supply side you have to understand the consumer side here or demand side and then you have to you know go you know ground level research or if it is possible do survey and understand i would say like if i give you an example and this is very applicable if you do you will definitely come up with a ended up with a good very you know good idea or business model and that is nothing but you go and ask your neighbors or your friend you know or your colleague ask five six you know uh, you know just ask tell me your five problems okay and they will tell you one two three four five because we all are have missing lot of problem in our daily life maybe you know starting from the morning to the you know sleeping bedtime we have a lot of problems in our life and we are you know just try to solve that and if someone else there to you know giving the solutions definitely will definitely you know run towards that kind of a solution and that is nothing you have to understand first is if you wanted to come up with a product then you have to think to come come up with the proper solution that is actually in demand okay so now here as i am telling you ask five questions to your friends do it from today i am telling you do it from today and if it will not work then come back to me okay i'll tell you what exactly the further process but definitely 70 80 90% cases you will get some kind of a model business model and then you have to work on that because 
idea is not everything you have to execute properly then you can come up come to us and we will tell you how to execute that particular business and all okay so now coming come, come back to a story is like ask five questions to your friends whoever friends you have 30 40 friends asking that and then your colleague and your neighbor even your 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 your, your parent your family also you can ask so ask at least 100 uh, you know uh, you know uh, you know audience or you know uh, sample uh, we would say as a researcher or market researcher we will say uh, you know and then come back uh, with, uh, with the response of those samples okay and then here you will get uh, you know some some sort of data like you know 100 audience data okay and you will eventually you know analyze that okay like how many of them are facing kind of a same or common problem that you are facing in their daily life okay so you will definitely come up with ended up with some kind of a common pattern or common you know kind of a you know, problem that most of them are facing okay and then this is what you have to prioritize first there will be other problems also that they are prioritizing uh, or they are you know followed by their first problem second problem third problem fourth problem and five, fifth problem so come up with the uh, first problem and then first problem in the sense the majority of your audience is which is they are concerned about that can, can be your you know uh, solution number first uh, first number solution and that is ultimately your business model and that you can consider this later on because uh, idea is not your product actually if you wanted to come up with a product then you have to uh, do some pilot testing and you know a lot of polished uh, happen and you have to understand some other perspectives demand and all and then finally you come up with your product so idea you can at least generate the idea and then eventually you have to do some feasibility study and then come up with some your idea and all oh sorry product and on definitely it will you can launch through and that's understanding and you know, go to market strategies and a lot of other parts okay now i hope this is a very very simple you know strategy to come up or very applicable at the same time to come up with the, uh, with the uh, model now this was a very layman understanding and this is one of the most applicable from my you know understanding now 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 what you can do for, for uh, the advanced level what you can do you can do some uh, you know proper uh, brainstorming okay and that is part of your design thinking Okay, now come up with the design thinking perspectives that can help you uh, to come up with a product which exactly going to be very realistic. Because what I have told you, this is more of uh, anyone can apply that, but for the case of design thinking, if you are a professional, then this kind of you know, strategy is going to help you a lot to come up with a really very good product. Okay, uh, so now thing is design thinking. Okay, now what is design thinking? Now design thinking is nothing, is there is a step by step approach uh, or uh, innovate something with proper design or with proper you know strategy step by step strategy that is nothing but the design thinking okay uh, i am not going to make it very critical for you i am here to uh, tell you very with a easily easy you know kind of you know style so that you can understand and relate and at least you can execute it you know at that at the same you know uh, kind of a strategy so now here like first, what you can do, you can do some brainstorm in front of your, uh, with your colleague or with your friend circle or, you know, you can make it a focus group, okay, or group discussions or panel discussions. And, you know, uh, yeah. and then uh, before that, what you can do, you can do some secondary research to come up with some basic understanding of that particular, you know, problems of in a particular society or, you know, or, you know, uh, country or, you know, global level and then, uh, you know, eventually you can start brainstorming with your friend, friends and if it is possible to talk with, uh, you know, next level you can talk with the industry, you know, exports. Okay. Now, once you talk with the industry exports, then uh, experts, then they, they will give you some input and your, uh, you know, other that whatever you are doing, the focus group discussion and they will give some input. And that actually uh, the, the starting, you know, you know, step, you know, first step that you understanding some brainstorming and doing some brainstorming understanding the products and all the possibility of product and all then what you can do in the next stage you can make it uh, like a uh, you know uh, understand that competitive analysis of that okay uh, if there are any other product is already there do some secondary research and uh, you know to understand the literature reviews to understand the you know data availability of that to do some basic of market study that we can call so here now here I'm gonna 
you know make it happen for you that because as a market research uh, uh, here your you know work starts from here and you know uh, as i was uh, talking about how market research can help in those you know uh, product innovations and all here market research starting you know through with, with your basic research okay so here you have to understand the tam total available market what is the total available market possibility of the market because abc whatever the product you are coming up with and uh, what is uh, that product is come under in any kind of industry that definitely come under right now what is the pan industry if it is a very niche then what is the pan industry and all so come up with the tam of that total possible tam and tam calculation is very much important so i am not going to very technical perspectives of the tam calculation and tam not only tam sam and som what is tam tam total available market sam is service available market and som is service obtainable market now how much you can obtain that is very much important for you to understand it is not only tam the total available market but also som is very much important for you to execute your business plan okay so this all can be done through market research you know uh, calculation perspectives and all okay so now a market sizing perspective i would say okay so now once you done this you are understood and that competitive analysis in the, that process you have to do also competitive analysis now what is competitive analysis to understand the major players of that particular industry okay like uh, who are the major players what is the market what is their market share and all who is the largest and second largest third largest and followed by this and then how much is remain for you initially because they already captured the market even is 100% market and 30 40 50 now captured already 95% captured or something not then there is only 5% that you can you know start with your initial time so in that 5% you know you know how what exactly percentage you can initially the first year you can target so this is very much important this is very calculative is very important to understand for you to find out the sum uh, so that you can you know you know uh, come up with a very realistic uh, you know you know uh, revenue model or uh, realistic number that is very much important as part of your feasibility understanding so this is again a market research what we what you are doing here okay and then uh, you know once you uh, you know understood these and all you have to do some pilot testing so there what you you can do here you have to do some survey okay once you done your product and all you you know you have to make a, you know prototype and uh, once you done with the product or product and all and you have to like you know that is nothing but the product sample and you have to uh, you know uh, give it to your consumer to you know to understand their you know you know the perspective what is they are liking this product or not okay a sample testing you can say so now they will they would they will tell you that no is product is good they, they can use that product or they can give it a service then they will understand that service and then they'll get back to you they will give you some feedback so that is part of your survey okay it's a consumer research part so there also it is part of your market research what i am telling you so there you can get some understanding of the survey through the survey and understanding their mindset and accordingly you will understand and you can at the same time you can ask the price of that you know product that how much you are ready to give the price of this product how much you are ready to give you know cost uh, for this product and not so they will say you know uh, you know a lot of you know this is how you know you can get some this is what i am saying is 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 very very you know raw it sounding very raw very layman but exactly if you execute this no in our you know professional way we normally execute this so there are a lot of techniques we use and all but as this video is only to give you a, a layman understanding our overall understanding with a simplistic manner that's why i'm making it this very simple for you so that you can easily relate anyone can easily relate i, I i'm sure okay so that's how i hope you understanding now you have to do some survey and understand their mindset whether they are ready to purchase your product or not once once you done that then uh, you have to launch your product now in the launching product uh, you have to do a proper go to market strategy now what is go to market strategy gtm now go to market strategy is nothing and once you done this everything whatever the perspective then you have to understand what going to be your right you know uh, Uh, launching strategy or marketing strategy okay that like before you launch your product because uh, if your marketing strategy is not good then uh, launching is very much important product launching is very much important nowadays okay so what type of marketing you want to use like digital marketing of course but uh, there are uh, earlier it was commercial you know conventional marketing then what type of conventional also you want to use if it is skipping you are skipping them what kind of digital marketing Well, because in digital marketing, there are a lot of tools we use, or 
you know type of digital marketing is also there like content marketing video marketing uh, you know in 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 campaign also social media campaign also or type of you know, google ad or you know you know meta in all these you know a lot of things we can do nowadays okay in the platform also you know is it b2c or b2b we are targeting and all as per your product and all so this is a lot of discussions going to happen okay so this actually a lot of strategy i would say you have to do okay to come to launch your product if you don't do then you will not able to cope up this market nowadays because or you know you know uh, only definitely you know product quality is very much important first but if you are not able to reach your customers then who going to purchase your product so that's why at the same time market research or marketing is everything what i have discussed is very much important so i hope you now understanding a little bit understanding of or helicopter view of oh, you know market research for how market research can help uh, to entrepreneurs or founders or even you know uh, you know startup founders you know to come up with their you know uh, product uh, so this is uh, you know what we do but we do uh, with a very you know a professional manner with very uh, you know 95% uh, accuracy and all so uh, we have a lot of tools uh, to do, use this and if you are really interested uh, you know uh, come um, get in touch with us and we'll discuss uh, you know if you come up with some idea if you don't have to come up with the idea then also we run uh, a program and there we'll uh, tell you or if you we have uh, our you know flagship pro, you know product also which is startup business plan report now what is startup business plan report it is one of a kind of a uh, you know uh, report and it is world's first kind of a syndicated research report that we you know produce or we publish and you can go through our site what is which is the market research universe uh, so www.marketresearchuniverse.com go uh, visit our you know uh, you know site explore our reports start a business plan reports you will get a lot of understanding ideas and all and then if you select any uh, idea or any you know, business that you are interested in definitely uh, feel free to get in touch with us okay we will tell you how you can launch a launch a business or how you can make a profitable business in today's scenario okay and you know i think this is helpful for you uh so see you uh, in a you know one to one you know consultation yeah thank you thank you so much